We are making an entire outfit today. It is 5.54. I meant to wake up at 6. I have an alarm set for 6. But my unconscious body knows how much I hate waking up to alarms. So I woke up half an hour early and just laid in bed for a bit. Which I guess was nice. I don't know. I'm starting because I've... I... <laughs> As much as I want to say that this is happening for sure, I don't really know. I'm not using the word try because I'm really, I'm mostly manifesting this. Last year I made an outfit in a week and now for some reason I think that my skills are good enough to do an entire outfit in one day. I am making a top, some shorts, and like a full on cardigan jacket. Thing. Last year I also made a hat, so if I have time I'll also make a hat, but wait, I don't wear hats, so I don't know why I included that in the outfit. I just wanted it to be more impressive, I think. I am starting with the top, and as you can see, I am just hating a bunch. I will then stick this around my body to see when it is big enough. Ooh, I can stretch that. A few more chain here. I am making a cropped tank top, question mark. Which like, yeah, I'm just making it because it's fast. I don't really wear crop tops. I hate being cold in any shape, form, or whatever. I can't. Oh, I was gonna do this in the round. Just wait. So I made my chain. It is long enough to go around me. Now I'm going to connect it. I don't want to have to do any sewing is the reason why. And I'm thinking that this one will be two hours that is my prediction that this top will only take two hours i'm doing double crochet i'm using a weight four yarn with a 5.5 millimeter hook because that's what the yarn that i'm using calls for it's too early to start this so like yeah i think that it'll only take two hours, but it's very early morning. I haven't gotten up this early in a while, so we'll see. I am making this currently before breakfast. Like I just woke up. I'm gonna make this, then I'm gonna eat breakfast. Gonna make sure that, you know, I have reasons to take breaks. Here we are, super duper cropped. It's just a tube. I just went around and around. It's nothing profound. Guess what time it is? It's only 6.53. I think this is the first time that I've ever underestimated how fast I am and it feels pretty good. Now for the straps. As much as I would like to do something nice like an eye cord, I'm just gonna chain them. I can always go back in later if I have time and make something more comfy. But for now, they're gonna be spaghetti strips. And I suppose that's comfy enough. I literally, I didn't watch anything while doing this because I'm still too tired for input at the moment. <laughs> So I was literally just laying here making this. That's kind of nice, meditative. Honestly, when I do that, time just flies by. Like when I was making all my Christmas gifts, I don't know how, like time just left. I'm not even measuring this, this looks right, so. <laughs> I've also overestimated how much yarn it's gonna use. I thought this would use a whole skein. It is skein, right? I would rather say skein. Skein sounds weird, but it's fine. It hasn't even used half, so I'm happy. I get extra yarn. Ah, first garment done and it is 6.57 which means it's been exactly an hour and it's pretty cute so happiness. I was gonna go eat breakfast now but like it's still kind of too early. Still not hungry. So I think I'll just start on the next one. It's nice that it was an hour on the dot because it just makes timing these a lot easier. <laughs> Thank you very much time. Thank you me for being punctual. We have saved an hour. Now I'm going to start the shorts. Shorts I have never made before. I have made all of two bottoms. I've made a pair of pants with granny squares, which is what I did for my last creating an outfit in a week video. And I've made a skirt and that's about it. So hopefully there's no trial and error here. Hopefully there's just trial and success. I am starting with ribbing. This is going going to be a high-waisted short because we have a crop top and that just makes sense to me. I am starting with my ribbing, doing a few inches of ribbing, you know, because we need it to be nice, stretchy, comfortable. I am doing, if you haven't already noticed, a monochrome 
outfit. I really want this outfit to go together. My last outfit made absolutely no sense. I kind of just started crocheting and I was pretty slow so every time I got bored I would like change the pattern or change the color and <laughs> it was kind of crazy. So this time I am doing an elegant, sophisticated, elevated monochrome fit and it's hopefully gonna be great. We will see. So this way I don't have to think at all. I picked this color because green is my favorite color and I don't know, it's, it's the foresty looking thing. It's making me feel nice. You know, we all need a bit more nature in our lives and I don't like going outside. It is cold and there are people out there. What actually is this called? Color? VS120. Why, why don't they have their actual color name on here? Oh, leaf green. There you go. Nature. I'll probably stop this after an hour to go eat. We'll see how much I get done. I'll just check in every hour. Just finished the waistband of the show arts. To do. I'm gonna slip stitch them together now so I can start working in the round. I did this single crochet by the way, I don't think I said that. Just because that looks better, as you can see. I did it also pretty thick just because or like pretty long because I thought that would look nice. <laughs> and now guess what time it is. It is just eight o'clock almost. Which is <laughs> funny because it took me an entire hour to make this when it took me an hour to make this entire thing. But this is single crochet and also rib stitch so that takes longer. I am still pretty happy because originally I had said four hours for the shirt or for the shorts. So this is just hour one. And now I'm thinking I could do it in three hours. <laughs> but I don't want to get ahead of myself. Right now I'm going to eat breakfast and I think I'll just take the entire hour. Like eat breakfast, get washed, get dressed, have a chill time and then come back here for night. Back it is, 8.55, hello, and I'm feeling great. <laughs> I did not expect to be taking breaks of that, that length, and technically I did just use up my extra hour that I gained, but if I end up feeling crappy or I end up hurting my wrist, like I have to either slow down or stop, so. <sighs> This, this is gonna help me in the long run. Now, my next thing, I'm just gonna slowly start here because I still have a couple minutes, but suave is to go around and crochet, single crochet first because I don't want, like if it ends up stretching this first little piece, I don't want it to be like holy like this. The rest of it's gonna be double crochet but I'll just do a little, little single crochet row to get started. I think I'll do two single crochet per row, or at least one per row. I'm only doing one per row. I don't know what I'm saying. <sighs> Hopefully that's enough. If not, I'll increase because I do want this to be like long and flowy kind of feel. I wasn't expecting this video to be chill and like meditative, like, uh, <laughs> I thought it would be the opposite. I thought I would be going crazy right now because that's what most of my videos are, right? Me going crazy trying to finish things, being stressed out. And this is literally trying to make an entire outfit in a day. This is supposed to be a challenge. It was supposed to be difficult. I was kind of dreading doing it even though I really wanted to do it. But like, wow. Just look at me. I feel calmer than I have in days and I'm really happy about that because I have been really wanting to <sighs> chill out a bit, <laughs> live a slower life, you know? I just wasn't expecting that to happen today. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what it was. Like, I woke up early, not with an alarm. Usually I hate getting up early, even though I am a morning person. But I don't know, getting up that early, it was just so quiet. It was still dark, which I usually hate. I don't like getting up before it's light out. But it was just so quiet. And since it was so early, I felt like I had all the time in the world, which is usually, like I feel the opposite of that all the time. So that was the change. And then, I don't know, it's just so peaceful. And then I decided that I wasn't gonna like watch anything right away because I just, I was too, I wasn't awake yet. 
enough for input. And then even in my second hour, I didn't watch anything because I was like, oh, that was nice. <laughs> And then whenever I went to eat breakfast, like usually my breakfast routine is eating while watching YouTube on my projector. And I didn't even turn on my projector. I, it, it's snowing. <laughs> it's so beautiful, it's snowing. So I just sat and watched the snow and that was even more meditative and it was beautiful. And I, I freaking don't know. Even did a 10 minute yoga before this. Also very lovely. Uh, my back's hurting sitting like that. I can't sit. I don't sit properly, so it hurts. It hurts my back. <laughs> so I usually lay down. That also hurts my back, but it hurts my back less. So there's that. Anyway, this video is going to be a lot of rambling, I guess, because that is what I've been doing. <laughs> also didn't plan on it being that way. I thought it was gonna be like, oh my gosh, guys. I, I only did this and I only have so many hours left, but this is nice. My ultimate goal today is to be done in time or at least like be feeling good enough to play Fortnite with my nephew. <laughs> Cause he was really sad when I didn't play as long yesterday. So I wasn't feeling great. I had like a headache for some reason. I rarely have headaches and I had stuff to do. And then I was even more sad because I had to tell them that I probably couldn't play today because I would be doing this challenge. So gotta sneak in a game or two. And I feel like I'm very much able to do that the way things have been going. There is my single crochet around on the bottom here of one in every row or yeah, one in every row <laughs> this way. And now I'm gonna start double crocheting for a good few rounds probably. I haven't done my hour yet, just updating that we are done our first bud of yarn. Moving on to the next. I'm actually so happy with how much this did. Like I was expecting to have to change or to have already finished one just for the top. So that's nice. I guess I have no idea how much yarn things take because I don't take the time to actually notice. It is now 10.01. This is my update. Thinking this will probably take four hours because, wow. <laughs> it sounds like the children's are having a snow day, which is great. Love it. Great news for my peace and tranquility. Alrighty, we are at 11 o'clock. <laughs> starting to get tired. Still haven't watched anything. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just like sitting here thinking, <laughs> just thinking. Now I'm going to make, I could have literally just made a skirt. Look at this. I had no idea how freaking long, like I had to make it just to reach the point that it needs to reach. My goodness. Now I think it's long enough to comfortably start making the individual leg holes. So I think all I'm gonna do, oh gosh dang it, I have to count all these. Cause you know, we don't want one hole bigger than the other. Uh, I really don't want to count. Okay, just a second. <laughs> I have 119, which is an odd number, which means I'm going to maybe crochet three of these together. Maybe that's weird, I don't know. I feel like that's not too much though. And now I just have to make sure there's an even number on each side. So 119 minus three is <laughs> 116. 116 in half is 50, 55, 58. Is that my three? And the 58 plus 58 is 116. Is that what I said, 116? Let's go with it. All right, so I just slip stitched across these three stitches. I now have two hoes. These are now shorts. And now I'm going to go around one leg over and over until it reaches the length that I want or can, can afford at this point because we're starting to run a deficit. And then we're gonna switch over to the other leg, finish that one. All right, we are at, what are we at? It's not even 12 yet, hello? Okay, anyway, that says 11.54, there we go. And I have finished my shorts. I just worked on the one leg for half an hour and then the other leg for the second half. Apparently I was super fast at doing the second half because I ended up finishing earlier. It's not as long as I wanted, but I need to move on. <laughs> if I have extra time, or actually no, maybe it is almost exactly as long as I wanted. Perfection. I think it looks a little funny though. I think I should have increased a bit so that it would flare out, whereas it's not gonna flare out now. I don't know, we're not going back now. If I finish early, extras that I'm gonna add are pockets and a drawstring. Now, 
since it's 12 and my mom just FaceTimed me and I hung up on her to film this quickly and I'm gonna go back and FaceTime her whilst I eat lunch. I guess I'm taking another hour break because I really like having it at the hour. It's just easy to, you know, I feel so accomplished. Look at me. Ha ha ha. It is 1.02. I just started my cardigan sweater thingamajigger. I don't know what I'm gonna call it. I have decided I was flip-flopping and I couldn't decide, but I have ultimately decided to do it chunky. So I'm doing it with two yarns at once, two stringy strings and double crochet still. I just chained enough to go loosely. This is gonna be the back, like loosely around here because I want it to be pretty oversized. We're getting a little risky here. Got to be impressive as well, you know, not just, we don't want to, what? <laughs> I want to exceed expectations, okay? I took another hour long break because I was talking to my mother over FaceTime. I ate lunch and yeah, still feeling like a normal day so far. My hour is up in five minutes, but I messed up. I have to go back a few rows. But look how freaking big this is. I did not mean to make it this big, but it's whatever. It's done now. <laughs> I had to go back like five rows and I only have five minutes left in my hour. So <laughs> it is 2 p.m. This is where I'm at. You already see it. I only got to do a couple more rows again. <laughs> It's so freaking big. <laughs> I am not really sure for sizing what it'll end up as because I've never made this chunky before. I've only made this style of cardigan once and it was not chunky. Hopefully everything works out though. I've only messed up one so far. But I originally had planned six hours for this cardigan. And as I'm going, I feel like that's doable. I feel like that's good. I feel like everything's great. I'm gonna get to do the hat, I think, and then go back and do some extras. I don't wanna jinx anything now. I, <laughs> I have reached another issue. <laughs> I'm gonna run out of yarn. So I think I'm gonna have to start this one completely over, which really sucks. But um, because, okay, so after doing the shorts and the shirt, this is what's left of the second skein. So I used almost two for that. And then I brought two new ones out for this cardigan thing. I've only done, I haven't even finished the back yet. And then I only have two more of these. And then I think I already had one. I have one somewhere else, which is not going to be enough. Because if this back uses a whole two, then the front's gonna use a whole two, and then one more isn't gonna be enough for both sleeves. So I think I'm gonna have to redo the entire thing and take off like, I don't know, I still want it to be oversized. So maybe take off 12 stitches, which is this much worth of stuff, which is fine time-wise, I think. I forgot to mention that I told myself that I am not going past 10 p.m. today because I am not missing out on sleep. I only did that once and that was a one-time thing. It's never happening again, but I don't see that as an issue anymore <laughs> unless this just keeps not working. I don't freaking know anymore. I think that's what I, I, that's just what I'm gonna have to do because there's no other option here. I'll leave this aside for now. I'll start anew from here and then once I finish these, then I'll just cut this off and then just work from this piece. Uh, so we're starting over. So that's an hour and a half almost wasted. Not wasted. I learned things. Learning how much, <laughs> how much yarn things take. It's 3.02. I finished the back panel so I did more in half an hour than I did in an hour and a half <laughs> on this one, which freaking sucks. I'm so sad about this. Look how tiny this is. It's gonna be cropped now. It's gonna be not oversized in any shape or form. <sighs> That's the only thing I'm sad about. In the long run, this is gonna save me time. I just made up for all that time in half an hour or so. But it's sad because I was so ready to put on a big, big oversized cardigan. <sighs> But anyway, I'm taking another hour break now because, well, it's not really great timing because I would need to take one at dinner time, but my nephew wants to play Fortnite and I'm gonna go play Fortnite now for an hour, I guess. Uh. It is almost exactly five o'clock. I came back from playing at 
four and started crocheting right away again. I did the two front pieces. That's not it. I'm getting confused, everything's the same color. The two front pieces. <clears throat> My voice is leaving me. And started the sleeve. If you're wondering how the heck I'm putting all this together, or like what I'm, what kind of cardigan I'm actually making, I will show you that all when I have all the pieces ready. I just want to point out my yarn here, my two that I've started using is almost done. This is all that I've used for this second try at my cardigan. I haven't had to change yarn yet, which is amazing because it was like that with the first one. I'm going to, once this is done, cut off this and then start using my original humongous cardigan for the sleeve for the, this sleeve and then the second sleeve. I am getting kind of done now. I kind of, I do want to stop, but we're so close. So why would I? I can go two more hours probably and that's a little shall take. Don't want to jinx anything though. I accidentally made a hole and I have to go back five rows again. It's so sad. <laughs> why? When it starts turning into my how my regular videos are. And of course, in the last freaking couple of hours, my yarn gets all tangled up. <sighs> yeah, I'm so annoyed. That took forever and I still have like it's half that it's half an hour over my hour. And look, this is my first sleeve still. And also look, what the freak is this? One skein of yarn ended way before the other one. <sighs> Plus there was a lot of issues in these two, one or two, I don't know which one, but there was a lot of issues with that yarn. Oh la la la. Okay, well. <sighs> <sighs> gotta do what you gotta do. Where are my scissors? Everything is covered. I am getting so done. I just want to be done this card again. Oh. <sighs> now I'm gonna start taking the yarn from the main thing or from the first thing. It is six o'clock. This was my most disappointing hour because I just finished one sleeve. So that was like this much and then this little bit. Plus I'm just going super slow now because I'm just done. I'm gonna eat now because I haven't had supper yet. And I don't know if I'll take the full hour because I don't know what I would do. It is 6.52, I did take the hour. And I've decided, I think, <laughs> that I am not going past nine o'clock. If, if it gets to nine and I'm not finished anything, I'm dropping everything and I'm done. And look, I'm ready for bed now. Everything is great. <laughs> that last freaking sleeve felt like one of those nightmares where like, it just won't end. So hopefully this one goes better. <gasps> guess what has happened look at this one okay now look at this one can you can you spot the difference can you spot this <laughs> this one which was the one that i struggled with so much my previous one <laughs> i didn't decrease properly i missed some decreases so it's bigger which we love so i have to go and redo some of it uh, ha, 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 ha. but it looks like i only missed like two so i don't know how it made that much of a difference but maybe let's meet in the middle i'm gonna redo like four rows of this to get it to go in more and then i'm gonna redo four rows of this to make it not go in as much. <laughs> I'm finally finished crocheting all the pieces. I can show you what's going on. So this is the back panel. So we just crocheted up to how long we want it under the armpit. And then it's just decreasing all along here till we get to the height that we want it to be. And then the front panels just are the same, only half and half. So I did half the amount of chain, half the amount of stitches, etc., etc., and then did the exact same diagonal. And now this is the cardigan that I made in the, or like the type of cardigan that I made in my 14 gifts in 14 days video. And someone wanted to know how to make it. If you are watching this, this is the one. Maybe I'll go back and find that comment. Hopefully this helps a little bit. I think whenever I was doing just single yarn, I might have done every other row decrease, which is why I tried to do that originally and it just didn't work. So I would just say, try that. We want Want it to go at this kind of angle. Anywho, then we stick in the arms. Originally, I thought that it goes like the other cardigans that I've made, like the 
boxy looking ones. So I sewed these together like this, but that is like across here, but that is not how it goes, okay? So we're sewing all these edges together, like they all match because I did them all the same amount of rows, all the same angle, they're all decreasing once every row. So we're attaching these two together like this, and then this will go together like this, if that makes sense. So the front goes to the sleeve, and then the other side of the sleeve goes to the back. And then, so essentially all this top part here is gonna be like our neck line. But I'll show you as I stitch it together. I think I'm just gonna sew it because it's faster. <laughs> I really don't know if I said, but I'm using a 10 millimeter hook for this chonky one here. So, you know. I really hope this works after all my explanation, like acting like I knew what I was doing. I've only done this once. Aw, I put that on, whatever. I have to leave in the ends anyway. So, this is what I just showed you. So this is the one half. This is the back panel. This is the sleeve and this is the front panel. And then so it'll just go like this, right? See, so this is just the neck and it'll stay that way. On my one for the 14 gifts in 14 days, I made like a collar in a specific knit pattern that I don't remember what it's called or crochet pattern. Sorry. I think it was like um seed. No, I see that all the time. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> if I remember, I will put it on oh, no! her. This isn't gonna work or it's gonna be very tight. I mean, I'm wearing a very bulky thing, but whatever. But it's, it's the, you get the point. <laughs> so then when it's like this, you just then, <laughs> so I sewed down those sides. I left the tail on this end. I'll use this to sew up the sleeve. So we'll sew the sleeve together along the bottom. And then I'll use the other one that I have on the other side to sew up the side. I don't know if I'm showing this very well. Probably not. <laughs> okay, let me hold it like this. See? So this is the half like this. So we're gonna sew it up the sleeve and then sew it down the side. It's gonna be stuck in my armpit. I don't like things like that. This is why I wanted super oversized. I completely, that was my check-in. It is a look. All right, I finished sewing it together. This is what it looks like. Beautiful, I'm not gonna try it on yet because I cannot be bothered, to be quite honest. I'm going to now attempt to do a hood because I still have half an hour left. I don't know how much I'm gonna do. Um, yeah. <laughs> just working on the hood now and I just connected it to the like neckline and did half. This is the sleeve here. So I did half and then I'm just gonna make two big rectangles and put them together. Probably like decrease on the back side a little bit before finishing off on both of them. But if you just wanted to do a collar, you just like crochet out like this and then fold it over. And you can do a cool stitch pattern if you want. I'm just continuing my double crochet. <laughs> it is now nine o'clock and that was going to be my new time, but I figure I may as well just finish the hood because like, Otherwise, it's not gonna feel finished if I don't finish what I'm working on now. And this should only take- Well, I don't wanna give myself a time because I'll just be disappointed. <laughs> of course, of course, it took another freaking hour completely. Wow, I thought it would be half an hour, but whatever. I wanted a huge hood and it looks like it's not giving the effect that I wanted. So I'm not gonna try it on tonight. <laughs> I'm actually going to leave right now and I'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so it's actually two days later. Ignore that. I don't know what's happening up there. Um, <laughs> this is the fit. I'm not sure how I feel about any of them. Some will definitely be taken apart. What I, my intention was, I don't like this. I don't like being naked. I don't wear things like this. I feel very naked. So I was thinking I would have a, like this much skin showing. This is kind of loose, so I would need the um, ties, but also it is early morning. So bloating is non-existent yet, but I think that's why it's necessary to have a loose fit with a drawstring. That is ultimate comf. I wanted pockets. I feel like I need to put pockets. I need to put my hands in pockets. Also, this was supposed to be, you know, oversized. So it would come to down here is what I wanted, but I didn't have enough yarn for that apparently. The straps for this are almost perfect. So I'm pretty happy about this. I kind of thought this would be longer as well. I haven't checked the hood yet. I'm scared for the hood because the hood was a lot of work. I'll check that in a second, but the shorts also feel like I should have went lower with the, um, <laughs> 
the joining so that you could like hike them up higher and it wouldn't look weird. I feel like it looked weird. I feel like I would have needed to have increased in here so that it does the more flowy thing that I was wanting it to be like flowy, but I didn't increase. So I don't know how I expected it to be flowy. Also, I'm not wearing deodorant right now because I didn't want to get deodorant all in here because it's pretty close to the armpit. It's not as in the armpit as I thought it was just because I was wearing that big sweater, but I'm gonna gotta do this fast because if I start sweating, that'll be even grosser than the deodorant. The sleeves, I would say, are kind of a perfect length considering this kind of cardigan just because it's like such big sleeves. You don't want it to be, you know, like this or it'll get in everything. So if it's just like a cutesy, super cropped cardigan, the sleeves kind of match it. Okay, I'm scared for the hood because the hood took a really long time. I really regretted making the hood. I'm gonna talk about how I felt my experience went in a second. Oh, maybe it did work. I just wanted like a huge hood. Okay, just a second, I can go check this. Okay, it's not exactly what I wanted. I wanted like one of those huge hoods that like just go like bleh. But like, it's kind of giving fairy, which is cool too. I just really hate, I have so many hoodies that the, the hood's like this, like so tight to the point where it's lifting up the sweater. Sorry, I'm just flashing you guys. I'm gonna sit down now. <laughs> I do like the cardigan. Is it weird that I was disappointed that the hood worked because uh, this cardigan took... Oh, right. I should talk about the amount of yarn because... So if I did the oversized, it would have took over six balls of yarn. This took just over four. So it's still a lot for such a small cardigan, but like it's chunky and it's cute and it's got a huge hood. I don't know. I don't know. I like it. I like the monochrome. I'm glad I went with monochrome. I thought this color was kind of ugly when... I, it first came in, but then I was like, no, it's beautiful. I love green. <laughs> beautiful. What else was I gonna say? Oh, right. In terms of the challenge itself, it was way easier than I thought it was gonna be. Like, yeah, granted, I made a cropped, very cropped everything. The shorts, the shorts are long though, but they are shorts and they're uh, high waisted. So that took longer than I thought it would. Or it took the amount of time that it, I thought it would. So I don't know why I'm saying that, but I would still add pockets. Maybe not to the cropped cardigan because I wouldn't be sticking my hands up here anyway. It'd be more in the shorts. So I would just add drawstring and pockets to the shorts but I'm going to probably just frog the shorts because they look funny in the bottom or just redo them or something it was a learning process I really enjoyed myself up until when did I start getting annoyed I started getting annoyed when I was doing the sleeve and I had to redo certain parts a lot and it just felt like it took forever I think at that point I did get slower because my hands got tired my hands never hurt which is surprising because I was scared that they would start hurting if I was using the chunky yarn or the yarn double stranded because if there's any extra tension on this finger at all, I don't know why I use this tension. I know everyone else uses the pointer finger, which probably makes more sense because it's more made for pointing or used to pointing. I don't know. I use this finger and anything else feels unnatural. So, but like any extra tension tends to really bug my hand. So that was nice. This hand, like these two fingers got kind of crampy at the end, but like the next day, this is two days after, I don't know if I said that, but the next day I felt fine. Maybe put this hood down or I'll start sweating. Um, yeah. I don't think I have anything else to say, just that I'm amazing. I don't necessarily regret the hood now because it worked, but I definitely, definitely regretted doing it that night because that was pushing myself too far. Like I was just at my boundary when I finished everything, but I wanted it to be more impressive, so I went Further. Like even if I finished everything with the hood at the nine out or the nine o'clock mark, I probably would have pushed myself to make a hat because I wanted it to be impressive. But I don't know. <laughs> I should be impressed with this. I don't know if this is a normal amount to be able to crochet in one day, especially freehanding because I had to redo the cardigan. Obviously I lost an hour and a half redoing this. And also I took four luxurious one hour breaks. So, you know, it is cute. I'm gonna get out of this now before I start sweating. 